lowering our uh, average days open for the herd is you know, usually worth about $20 a cow uh, on a daily basis. So if we can pull that down 10 to 15 days, increase our heat detection, increase our conception rates, there's a huge dollar amount associated to that. Now all of a sudden on a 1800 cow herd, you know, you're talking about 30 or $40,000 in a six month time period. Labor practices where we're not spending time in the barn chasing cows. So when you look at an investment, it's pretty evident that it will return very, very quickly. Looking back, my biggest regret was I didn't do it a year or two years earlier. My name's Galen Smith. I milk about 1,800 cows here in Deming, Washington, the northwest corner of Washington State. Multi-generational farm. My father-in-law started in 1978 in a flat barn with about 40 cows, and we have built on that and consolidated all our animals into one location over, over the last couple years. We've had activity or technology in some sort for probably the last 25 years. We like not having lockups in our barn. We like to have groups of 300 to 330 cows, but we maybe only need 10 cows. That was one of the reasons we really invested in the sort gates, is we looked at several different product lines that were available. Not only were we most impressed with the Gia Cow Scout Collar and the NEDAP software, but they really came out with a very very, very competitive price that really for us it was it was a home run. My name is Stephanie Finn. I'm the business development manager for herd management solutions here at GIA. So today we're here at Coldstream and at this farm they have both Cow Scout Cloud and our sort gates. I started working with this farm about a year ago. After we put the tags and collars on, I came back about a month later to go through after the cows had time to baseline and really optimize the system, do a thorough training on information that they were getting from the system, and really how to optimize that data to help the farm meet their goals. We recognize that we had an issue on our dairy, that heat detection was not where it was at. We really wanted our heat detection to be 65 to 70 percent, and we wanted to be breeding about 90 percent of our cows off the collar. As we transitioned and moved to the Cow Scout collars, it was evident within a 60-day time period that we went from 55 to 70 percent heat detection, and our conception rates went from 42 to 50 to 55. The general support from our dealerships to, you know, even GIA itself is one of the reasons, probably the, the most important reason, why we chose Cow Scout. We've had a long-standing relationship with our dairy service company, and one of the things, no matter what we have purchased, they're always here to make sure it works, and they will be here until it works. I'm uh, John Fox with uh, Excel Dairy Service. So I started working on this dairy in 2003. With the leg pedometers being phased out, Galen was looking at making a change, and he looked at several different brands, and the way that these collars integrated with, with the parlor and his, his existing system just made sense all the way around. We were able to convert his existing sort gate. We updated the, the boards and all the technology there. He has some pretty large sort days, and we sort 90, 99, you know, 100% sometimes. A big part in the decision to stay with Gia and go with the Cow Scout was the support that Gia offered. The whole team there has been supporting us from the sales process all the way through to the installation. We've had multiple visits, actually boots on the ground, seeing what's going on, solving problems, always have the full support, which has been great. One of the best things, we were only catching about 80% of our cows. When we upgraded all as one package with the Cow Scout to the upgraded software for the sort gates, we went from an 80% uh, success cut rate to yesterday, I think we caught maybe 194, 96 out of 200. So we're running around a 98 to 99% um, success rate on the, on the sort gate. We've really done a good job, I think, implementing reproduction. So we're very excited about that. But I'm also learning about some of the rumination and resting and group activities. There's tons of bells and whistles that hopefully will alert us to problems before we even know problems exist. Especially with the Cow Scout Cloud platform, it's the newest release platform for NEDAP. So we have new features and technology that are implementing AI into their algorithms. So the system is continuously getting smarter and improving, which is really helping us streamline the activity in terms of which heats are actual heats. And we can filter out some of the false heats that we might have seen before uh, through the continuous learning of the system. We can pull all of the rumination data into our other herd management platforms and overlay that with milk weights to really get a whole accurate picture of what's going on with each individual animal. So the cows that really need our attention and focus are the ones that we're spending our time on. 
Some of the main ROIs on the Cow Scout itself, as we implemented this, I would say take, taking our heat detection from probably 55% and raising it to 65 to 70, and then decreasing our days open for the herd. If I could describe Cow Scout in one word, it would probably be efficiency. That's really what it has driven uh, our farm, to be more efficient. I've got four boys. They uh, are very much interested in coming back to the farm. Kids are excited about technology. They, they, they like that data. They like to be data driven. And so this is one thing that helps them as a management tool to be efficient in the future that hopefully they can take this product and take it to the next level. Mm -hmm.